There we go. Hopefully that won't be. Okay. Eh, something like that. Can you guys hear me? What's going on, guys? Um, let's turn this on to live chat. And let's do this. So, here in the shop today, turn this down. Hola, Stephanie Powers. Hola. Okay. Yesterday, we did a live in here. You saw Clint's door. He's making another one today. Uh, you saw me put a Buzz Lightyear right over there. Someone thought I was too juvenile for a minute there. And, uh, <laughs> and then you saw me talk about this for a little bit because I thought it was so cool. Um, and so today, I've decided that I think we're going to make a little display, either a shadow box or just a frame. I don't know. Uh, let's let's see as we go. By the way, can you hear me good from the, the microphone? You're probably not going to be able to hear anything else that good, but uh, I figure since I'm going to be like going away from the camera and then coming back to the camera, it's, you know, whatever. So uh, anyway, let's make something for this. Thank you, Jim. Sound is fine, he says. Okay. All right, Jim and friends, let's do this. Um, so I'm going to use all reclaimed stuff for the most part. That's the plan. Um, so let's source some, some stuff. So it needs to be big enough for this. First, let's find some glass because I want to have some glass over it. Hopefully we don't have to cut any because there's a bunch of paintings in front of my glass cutter. So let's see what we can find. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see what I see easier for me. Let's go into the, uh, into the old, uh, art trunk here. Ta-da! It's very messy. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So, oh, perfectly easy right there. You see that glass? I don't know if you can see it, but I see it. Oh, it's stacked up. Oh, it's stuck together. There we go. Mm, yeah. Does that fit in there? It does. It does fit in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that. That is the glass we will use. That was easy. There's a lot of broken glass in there because obviously, <laughs> look at the state. That was not on purpose. That was not intentional. That was supposed to be temporary. Uh, the whole thing was supposed to be temporary. Everything's supposed to be temporary, but plans change because life changes because it throws curveballs at you. Um, but I should be getting the shelves really soon. Okay, now, I can't see what you can see now, but what we need to do is we need to find uh, a backing for it. So it's obviously it's gonna be, this is what you're gonna see, the glass, and this is gonna be behind it. Right, and then so we need a piece of backing, and then we need some framing material as well. So let's go find some backing, which actually I already saw this. I think we'll use this. This is a little piece of plywood. It's thin, I think 316 or, no, that's way bigger than 316. That's like a quarter inch. That's like a quarter inch plywood, so we'll use this. So that was easy. And then we need some rails. now. Since that came from a gold mine, let's go find some gold mine wood. We have a piece right there, but that's a grand piece. So we'll try to keep that one uh, as long as possible. For this, we just need something small. So I got some gold mine wood out from, uh, uh, I forget where the area is. Hold on, give me one second guys, I'll be right back. And I'm back, okay. We got some, this actually might be a perfect piece right here. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I like that piece. I know I have a bunch more, but it's kind of buried because when I 
get offered wood, I kind of just take it all, all the time. Okay, here's a nice chunky piece, but this, this needs to be, if you guys remember the gold vlog I did a while ago with my brother Ken, you might recall this piece. This I want to do, I think, a piece of furniture with. There's, that's a piece of driftwood. Um, you know what, I think we're just going to make do with this. It's nice and thin, and it's decently long where I think I can get a couple pieces out of it. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Oh, by the way, look at this. Look what happened to Clint's headstock of his upright base. He dropped it. He was playing a gig. Some of you guys know that he plays uh, as well as makes instruments. And uh, he was driving to this gig. Well, I was at the gig. Oh, you were at the gig. Hold on. They're not, they're not going to be able to hear you. One second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We got another microphone. What do you think this is? Unprofessional? Here, just hold this up to yourself. Okay, guys. Hold on. Let me turn this around. So, oh, what the heck? There we go. Okay, so what happened with the upright bass? Uh, so, we were at the gig, and I was literally walking across this. Uh, this grass to where the stage was and the strap on my case broke and the base hit the ground and I thought oh man that's not going to be very good and then it opened it up and it was just destroyed the headstock on it so I was uh, more than a little upset it's a fairly expensive instrument <laughs> so thankfully with my luthery skills I think I can rebuild it so that's the hope. That's good. Okay. So what did you end up playing instead? Like, did I, you just, I didn't know. Yeah. A few people mentioned I should do the, uh, the, the bass boom, tummy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, no, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to leave this microphone here. Uh, it's not on, but there's a little button on the side, just in case. I don't know. This is the interactive experience. I haven't done one of these in a while. I usually do these on Patreon every month, uh, which I am going to do two this month because I missed last month because of, you know, family uh, obligations. But uh, we are going to do one for everyone today. Uh, we'll see how far we get. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we'll finish it all in one go here. So let's do it. Um, I probably won't get a lot of your comments read, but uh, I'll, I'll try to keep them in mind as I go along here, okay? So, got the piece of glass. I need this to be the same size as the glass, I think. Yeah, right, because then if I go like that, Bam, that'll say yes. Okay, same size as the glass. So what did you end up doing for the rest of the gig? I uh, walked around with my family and then we went home. I don't know if you guys heard that. He just walked around and then went home with his family. <laughs> but it's a cool venue, right? Yeah. So you got to press, press the button. Yeah. Just hold it until the light comes on. Maybe we'll just keep it on and then you just pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the little gig that we played at was a, uh, like a market and it's in someone's acreage and all through the forest, they have like these trails and they had booths set up for people selling. It's like a maker's market. So people, making pottery and just kind of, you know, a lot of stuff that Josh and I make even. And they were just selling them all through the forest in these little booths. It was super cool. And so they had bands booked all day, um, different slots throughout the day to play. And we were the last of the day. So, Dude, you were what they came to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Okay, 
So you guys know that I'm hesitant to throw out perfectly good material, but stuff like this, it's, it's easier to throw out. This actually, fun fact, came out of my house. This was in the, remember when I had that bar in the basement uh, when we moved in? We ripped that out. Oh, actually, you don't remember because that footage got 138-ed. But there was a bar there, you might recall from other videos. Frack 138. Anyway, this is stippled. You can see the texture in there. Um, so that that's, that's why it's like that. But uh, this is still good. Oh, it's painted on the back. That's okay. Okay. Let's go the other way now. Okay, so if we screw this up, just keep in mind, I am not a professional. <laughs> That's my excuse. Don't do this at home. This is the not perfect. This is not good table saw practice. Or you have a lot of material out the end on a cross cut. You don't want to cross cut usually ever unless you have a cross cut sled, but uh, I don't have one. And uh, I was willing to take the risk. Oh, we might not be able to use this. Okay, hold on. We have to cut a new piece. My bad. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I've been waiting to use this for a while anyway. We have used some of it before because this piece used to be quite large. Okay. Let's go again. I should have looked at the material a little better before starting. Okay. Okay, let's... The back of this one is quite ugly, but that's okay. Okay. We... Now I can throw out this stuff. I'm gonna keep this one just in case, just as a, a backup. Yeah, all this other stuff will be junk. We'll put that there for now. <sighs> Safety first glasses. Oh yeah, glasses are always good to use. I'm a dumbass for not using them more often. Oh, you gotta them off. You guys remember these from the lawnmower vlog? And Clint mentioned these yesterday too. Look at these. You said you didn't have a. Lab I said I wasn't a scientist. You didn't have a lab coat. Oh, yeah, I don't have a lab coat, but I have lab glasses. Okay. Pretty good there. Now. What we need to do, uh, we have to figure out how, there's the plate there, how we want to display this, okay? So, let me bring you in here just a little bit so you can see better. Clint's looking at the door. This one has to be louvered. So he's figuring out what's gonna look good. He just drew his lines on it to see what it'll look like. But anyway, so do I wanna display it like this? Like this, you know? The thing is, is we're, we're kind of, we're kind of uh, subject to the parameters of our glass here. So let me grab a tape here. The thing about that is that we can't make this, that's inch and three, that's inch and almost three. That's pretty good spacing actually by eye. That's an inch and let's say this is an inch and a quarter. Okay, so it's not evenly spaced in there and I don't think that looks as good. So I think I'm gonna have it staggered off to the side or, um, 
And then I'll put a little write up here of what it is and where it's from, kind of like as if it's a, if, as if it were a museum piece. Keeping in mind that I'm going to have a border here. So if I go, let's see what we can do here. That's three quarter. That's three quarter. That's three quarter. Holy shit, I'm good. Okay, so if I put it right there, I have room for a little right up somewhere in there yeah cause, so I know that I have to be three quarter I know I have to be three quarter I think I'm also going to have it raised up a bit so let me let me grab a piece of paper. One second, I'm just going over. Just a scrap piece of paper. Just I just want to see what we're dealing with in terms of how big our write up can be. So let's. Oh, it has to be really small. Okay, then we'll go like this. We'll go like this, because that'll look okay then. Right, if it's a small piece that goes like this. If, I, if it was sideways like this, right? If you're looking at it like this view, that would look dumb to have a skinny sliver of paper with the words like this, you know? But if it's like this, it's not as bad because it, it goes long way. So that's what we'll do, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay, we won't worry about that just yet. What we'll do, we need a little spacer. What are you doing with this little piece of oak? Can I steal this? Yeah. yeah? Oh, it's too big. <laughs> That's okay, we have, uh, we have some scraps here. Um, I'll just cut that piece of oak smaller. Or actually, why don't I just use more of this? Why don't I do that? That makes more sense because we're tossing it anyway. So let's cut it smaller. So I just need a... Oh yeah, that's nice. Check out this, guys. I'm starting to appreciate oak more. I usually hate it, but... Yeah, Josh said he hated oak, but I think the more I use oak. Yeah, the more I'm getting into it. You know what I hate? I hate orange banisters. <laughs> right. That's what I hate. I think that I think that's poisoned me to oak. Uh, though I do maintain that oak is one of the few hardwoods or more precious woods. I don't know if you'd classify it as precious. It's definitely boring. Uh, one that you can paint and stain. Okay. Okay. Put these bad boys on. I think that's good. I wonder if it shouldn't be thicker. Hmm. Hard to say. Um, hmm. Got a piece of maple here, a little bit thicker. Ultimately, this doesn't matter that much, but I don't want to be unhappy with it in the end. Hey, 
Hey, Clint, what do you think? For uh, I'm having it floating off the piece. This is my options that I'm working with. So it's floating like that, right? So it's off a little bit. Watch out from the, right? This is a little bit higher. You want it sit, yeah, sitting off, right? Yeah, and then I feel like that's a little too much. I think that one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, cool. Okay, maple it is. So let's make let's make these related. Oh shoot. Yeah, okay. Okay guys, I think yes. I think yes. Um let me grab a mess of epoxy and a popsicle stick from over here. Oh. Yeah. No, nope. we can switch. I don't mind at all. I was just uh, going with the flow and I'll continue to do so. Let's uh, move you guys over to here. There we go. You should stay in background. I am going to. Don't worry about that. We had just barely got started. Let's take this, this, and get that. Perfect. Okay. Is that scrap piece of paper here? This will work instead. Oh, I have a scrap piece of paper right here. What am I, blind? I'm wearing these glasses and now I'm blind. Get a little bit of five minute epoxy, mix that up. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the maple, like so. Don't need a whole heck of a lot, but enough to mate them together. Okay. There we go. Can't see it through any of the holes, so that's good. Okay, we'll leave that aside there for now. This, we don't, well, we might need it again, so I'll, I'll leave that out. Okay, now we need, let's see here. I guess we need to know what this height is. We need it to be higher than that. It's crooked. I am seeing an inch and a half. We'll have it an eighth up here, but inch and a half. Uh, yeah. If I did an inch and a half, maybe I'll go inch and five eighths. Yeah, inch and five eighths. No, because I still have to put that in. We'll go inch and three quarter. That's what we'll do because the glass is going to be in and then we'll have a lip above the glass as well, which I like. Okay, so inch and three quarter. So while we're waiting for the table saw, we are going to... Oh, you're, you, need, you don't need it? Okay. Then we'll do that right now. Let's go to the table saw, folks. Inch and three quarters, what I said. Let's do it. Inch and three quarter. Now the thing is, is that I don't wanna waste this cut. It has to be what it has to be, because I wanna have the edge, okay? Now this is not gonna be a perfectly straight edge. So, you know what we're gonna do? I could put it onto a sled. 
Maybe I should put it on a sled. Uh, let's put it on a sled, folks. Let's not be lazy. Let's not regret it. If I, if I, if I had unlimited gold mine wood, I would just do it the lazy way. But since I do not, uh, let's not mess around. Actually, you know what? I have to make it a little bit bigger anyway. Dummy. Oh, you know what? No, that's not going to work. Because it's still, no matter what, it's going to be... No, it will work. Well, maybe. It might work. Yeah, we'll see. It's all because of this, and I want that to be a, a feature. A feature on the on the piece. I think I'm gonna have this be the outside and then this is gonna be the inside. And then this side is gonna be a little harder. Okay, I need a scrap piece of plywood, which I don't think we have much left these days. You know what? No, we don't. We're gonna do it the lazy way. It's not lazy. We're going to do it the risky way. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I really like that. But I don't think that it's going to work regardless. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I'm overthinking it. This is the one that Okay Now, a lot of people would say that this is garbage, but since it has some historical stories baked into it, I'm gonna keep this, uh, but we're only gonna use, probably only gonna use this part here. And uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I was worried for no reason. Okay. Let's bring this to the other table. This we'll put aside for now. Oh, part of it broke off. <laughs> okay. We need to put in a groove for this to fit into there. Well, we're gonna do a, a rabbit cut. So we're gonna have a... Uh, Hmm. Okay, you know what we are going to do? We are going to stain this right now because I want to see what color looks best inside. Let's uh, let's do that. We are going to use some um, India ink. No, there's almost none left in here. All right, let's grab another one. Um, so India ink, I love India ink because it's so black that it like, when you wipe it off, it, how do you say it? Like the 
saturation of the pigment is so great that you can't wipe off the black color. It's not, <laughs> that's not the best explanation. Don't tell me I don't have any left. Don't tell me I don't have any left. Oh gosh, darn it. Hmm. I don't think I have any left. What is this? Carbon black. This is acrylic. I don't want to paint it. So I want to stain it. Shoot. I thought I had a bunch of bottles of that. But I guess not. Dang it. Okay. I have a spray bottle of it, though. Because I know I sprayed... Uh, if you guys remember my Axel Rose, uh, so we renamed the Embellished Rose, that painting, I used it. But where did I put it? And hopefully I didn't dump it out. Let's go have a look-see, shall we? Hello, Michelle. It is a beauty for sure, smaller in person, but still a great place. Oh, something? What is that? Love that table and tables saw set up. Yeah, it's pretty good. You should use a handsaw. Why? So it takes forever. That's okay. Guys, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! Here it is. He talks himself into this. You can't help but wonder why this minor lost its dinner plate. Yeah, right? Okay. Oh, well, talking about the shop. Oh, yeah, the shop is smaller than you would think it is. Look at that. There we go. There we go. The day is saved. Now, this is watered down, so it's not going to be as black as I was hoping it would be. But that's okay. It's not a-okay, it's just, eh, it's okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I don't accidentally spray it. I'm just gonna put these here if that's okay. So what I wanted to happen um, is have everything be the same color, but you would see the grain in the board from the texture, but you're going to be able to see the grain because it's highlighted because it's not soaking up as well. And that's because we have water mixed in with the India ink. Not the end of the world, but a little disappointing, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll like it in the end. Maybe I'll be glad that it happened. Oh, I probably should have moved the plate out of the way too. I sprayed that a little bit, but uh, let's see if I can wipe that off. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. Good. Okay. So we'll let this dry. Sorry about the noise. Just thin what you have with the dripping from Pawnee. I don't know if it would have spread out enough, just that little bit that's in the bottle there. And I don't know if it would have come out as dark as I'd like it to be. So right here, you can see maybe the difference. This is where I sprayed just the India ink. And you can see how the grain, you can see it because it's shiny. The coarse grain or whatever. Um, whereas on the sides here, it's very brown. 
and that's the water down stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, of course I got the glasses. Oh, slip the breaker, too much power, too much power. Maybe it's because the radio is on. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be why. All right, guys, that, this takes very little time to dry, maybe about 10 minutes. So we should be able to commence here right away. Yeah, okay, I can see through them, they're good enough. Uh, catch the angle of that just right, I saw a face when you were showing the stain in the background. Really? I don't see the face, wait, is this the ear? And this is the mouth? And he has maybe a like a an eye right here. Like a what's the? Did you flip it again? Hey. Did you flip it again? Yeah, it's not because both these are too twenty. We don't have enough power. All right. What's the Spider Man? Venom. Venom. All right. The eye right there. Ear right here, mouth right here, and then if you wanted to think about it, here's the tongue, but it's going up for some reason, and then maybe the other eyes right here. I don't know. It's a creepy face. I saw a cat first. It looks like a cartoon character in those glasses. Ha! <laughs> uh, green goblin. Yup, says Jim. Ah, that's cool. Okay. Um, maybe the back of it. I don't know what we uh, build on here, but that's not the nicest looking back. Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. And we'll probably paint this later. We'll paint it later. Look at all that dust in here. That's not good. It's not good. It's a brand new blade too. Should be cutting through there a little better, but it ain't. Okay, while that is doing that, why don't we go grab a little drink and a snack? And uh, I'll answer a couple, two, three questions here. Um, let me take these away from there. Sneak peek of a painting I'm working on, but I kind of gave up on it. I put those in front of the window because uh, I'm working on a video of a painting and I started it at night and then the next morning I continued on with it, but I wanted the lighting to be the same. So, okay, we got Mars bar, coffee crisp and Kit Kat. Let's do Kit Kat. Oh, and O Henry, we'll do Kit Kat. All right. Keep the face as the back. What do you mean? Like have that face the outside? I can't do that because I need the part that you see to be the nicer part. Helen is going to have burgers for dinner and that's my fault. Those were good. Good burgers. Okay. Kit Kat, my favorite. He got Pepsi. Look at this, guys. Look at this abomination. 
Clint got Pepsi. Okay. Well, those are going to be in there forever because Pepsi sucks. Um, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, did Ashley like the bird? She did. Can you run it through the belt sander? I can, but it's plywood, so there's, there's not a lot of sanding that you can do. Uh, always a great time on your channel. Thank you. Okay, were the burgers still pink in the middle or cooked all the way through? They were still a little pink. That is way too sweet tasting to me. Maybe it is. I don't know. To me, it just tastes not as good as Coke. I'm sure if I had Pepsi to start with, I might like Pepsi if that's what I started with, but like, I, it's just not good to me. You need Austin for a shop talk. Pepsi is his preferred. Yeah, if he wants to come out here, yeah, I for sure. I like that dude. Dude, he has the most calm demeanor. And just like, hey, what's up, guys? I thought I would hop on here and give you an update on what I'm doing. So today, we are going to take some barn wood off of this old barn here in Carrobert. So you'll see, I have my GoPro. Uh, I didn't film the beginning when I was here yesterday, but I thought I would bring it along today so you can kind of see what's going on. I don't know. Is that a good Austin impression? I don't know. If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, or who I'm talking about, or who we're talking about, check out Austin Tischler. His channel is called, I think it's called Austin Tischler. T-I-S-C-H-L-E-R, I think. <laughs> Brilliant impression. <laughs> if I only had Pepsi, I would just do without. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I mean, when I was saying, if I had Pepsi to begin with in my whole life, I probably would like it. Because I'd be accustomed to it, but I don't know. Spot on, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm glad you guys thought so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, has it been 10 minutes or so? Let's grab one more little chocolate bar. It's Halloween almost, sort of. So they got the Halloween candy out. So that's what Clint got. We'll do um, we'll do a no Henry this time. And then we'll head back out there. Okay. I just clicked on it and I thought something was wrong with you, Ello. Then you said awesome and it all made sense. <laughs> <laughs> when I have Pepsi, it must be with ice, so the guitar missy. you. Hmm. I was out of the room when you started and came in the middle. I knew exactly who it was. Ah, that's hilarious. Okay. I'm sorry about the noise, but we're going to go back in the noise, all right? Really dense wood, so it cut. You can see that he's making several passes and still smoking. It'd be good if we had a writhing knife because there's some tension in that board. Hopefully, he doesn't have kickback. You ever get kickback to the gut? Holy, that hurts. It hurts. It hurts. She had a good life. Okay, we're charging. Okay. Oh, it's still wet. You know what? It's because there's water in it. It takes longer to evaporate. But it's dry enough. So, now let me decide here. 
What looks better? Are you doing like a shadow box? Hmm? Are you doing like a shadow box? Yeah, shadow box. Cool. I think this should be the outside, huh? Yeah, that's going to be the outside. That'll also make it easier for me. So, now we need to, this one, we need to figure out We need to go, you know, first I'm going to cut my rabbits. Are you done with that? Okay, let's make some bunny cuts, guys. I'm going to leave you guys right here, though, so that you can stay plugged in so we don't die on our way. I don't know if you guys can hear the radio, but we got some. Got some good tunes on. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Okay. Oh no, hold on, I'm a freaking idiot. There we go. Forward. Move me wherever you'd like. Oh, you're going to use the planer? Yeah, if you have to unplug it, you can unplug it. Yep, that's good. aren't very straight and I can't straighten them with without taking away the character. I have to just kind of trial and error this.
I like it. just a little bit but should be good okay let's let's go to the miter saw cut some 45s shall we look at this these are kids they're too small for me Okay. I'm starting to vibrate. <laughs> is the second mic still turned on? Uh, I don't know where it is. What the heck? I see. It would be super helpful if I took all this sawdust out of here. That's probably a task for today, take out the sawdust. Forty-five. We have a uh, tri-square, or quick square, I guess. Hey, Clint. Yeah. Do you have that other microphone on still? Right here, but it's not on. Okay. No, guys, it's not on. Unless you heard Clint loud and clear. Okay. So for whatever reason, this saw does not cut on its lines. It's not calibrated, I guess. Oh, there you go. We're gonna try to make our miters perfect, but we may not get them perfect. The nature of this wood is imperfection. Oh, you didn't even see that, sorry. So. We'll figure it out as we go, but that's our first one, right? Went right through a knot, but just because I like that, I think that looks really, real sexy. Okay. And I really wanted this to be in it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to swing that, unfortunately. Cause like, I don't know how I'm gonna, it'd have to be like 
you know? And that's just not going to work because the glass is going to be floating in there. That sucks. That sucks, but... Oh, well. You can't always get what you want. I think I have to cut that whole thing off. Except for, I gotta keep in mind that I do want this to be in it. So, I have to be smart with how I make my cuts, because I only have, as far as I can tell, one shot. Let me grab the back piece. But I want that to be somewhere in the middle. So, I have to cut this so that I don't waste because I, I only have so much, right? So, if I waste it, it's no bueno. Okay, why don't I do, why don't I focus on one at a time? Oh no, I think I'm going to cut it too big if I cut it there. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's take the shot. I just got to catch it. Let's, let's go the other way. Anyone would like to be my cleanup person? We're hiring. I don't know if you noticed, but I hate you. Okay. We got it. We got it. Okay, I'm gonna cut it big, just so I. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I am not a professional, <clears throat> but I do play one on YouTube. Holy shit, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. Now all we need to take. Okay, have that side. Okay. Let me cut that off. There. That. Okay. 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 I think, I want that to be in the middle. I think we'll have enough. I think we'll have enough where I'm not worried about it. We got all of that. We already got a long one there. We can get a short one out of this. Perfect. Yeah, that's gonna be right. right in the middle. This. We can save this and this. We're going to want to keep it the same way. We're going to go like that. Excellent. Excellent. We're figuring it out, folks. We're figuring it out. 
I would love to have two miter saws so that I could always have one. My grandfather, he has two miter saws in his shop, and he has one always at a 45 degree angle. Of course, he, I don't know if he does a lot with reclaimed. He does some, but anyway, he, uh, he mostly has perfectly milled lumber, so he can, he doesn't have to switch back and forth me because this is not flat and this is not flat but it's flat ish i'm just taking the flattest side and using that against the fence whereas like say something like this this is this is nicely milled so i can go like this all right cut that in the 45 and then i can just turn it around and cut this side without moving this at all uh for this though i don't want to take that chance okay so this Goes on the side. Okay. Wait, wait, did I freaking am I an idiot? No, I'm not. Uh, this one I have to go wild. I have to. I can't see it. I'm going to try. This is just so not straight. And it's still too big, which is okay. It's too big. Yeah. Yeah. Still slightly too long, but yeah, maybe that'll do it. The thing about this being made out of like this type of wood is that we can fill it and it won't look noticeable. Will be fine. Okay, that's our longs. Now we need to do our shorts. This. So we want this to be tight, but not too tight. Plywood doesn't move like regular wood, but the regular wood is going to move. And when it shrinks, we don't want the miters to open up around this. So I just have to be cognizant of that as well. Plywood does move a little bit, but I don't think it's noticeable. Where did I just put my mouth?
Something smells like uh Is that on fire? I wouldn't think so. No, it ain't. It's just the plywood. The glue? Okay. Nothing's on fire. Okay. <laughs> so we got... We got almost everything. So here, here, not that. Where, where's our other piece that we need to keep? Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. All right, so. Okay. This. Yes, okay. Okay, let's move this over to here. Take our quick square here. Okay, now. off. Okay, let me do this one now. different wear over there. Okay, let's see now. Let me move you here. I forgot that we would have to make it smaller because they're all smaller. Duh, freaking idiot. So I actually have to make this. I have to cut off a little bit more of each one. Okay. 
I'm probably going to have to do this a couple times. Again, this is... Yeah, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yeah, no, I have to. Uh, da, 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 da. <gasps> right, and I have to keep in mind the glass still needs to fit in there. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, going on. I know what it is. I was look I was looking at this and there. sorry this one here it makes sense but it, <laughs> I should have been looking at the right freaking thing the whole time Okay, that should be good. I know a whittle about carpentry. Ha, 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 ha. Glenn, oh, Glenn, you're the guy Chikoto always is hyped about when you get on his show. Okay. Okay. Let me put you over here. 
Okay. Oh, for some reason, those are slightly smaller. Let me, let me bring you guys over here. Another thing is I didn't realize that some of these, well, they're not that much. Okay, so this is for the glass to fit in. Okay, and like always guys, if you see something that you think is unsafe, just don't do it. See if this glass actually fits in here. If not, we don't want to. Yeah, there's room for expansion and contraction. Needs to be a little bit deeper. Just a titch. I one time said that to uh, one of the people who worked at one of the galleries I was in. She asked me if, uh, I can't remember what she asked me exactly, but she asked me a question and my answer was just a titch. And she was like Scottish or something. She's like, is that even a word? And I was like, uh, no, it's not a word, but you know what I mean, right?
Come on. There we go. Okay. So I already see where I'm going to have to modify once I glue it up. Where did I put that glass? some tape just so we can see where we're at oh, crazy so if you ever go to a framing store to get you know a piece of art framed like if you bought one of my prints or whatever, and you're wondering why it costs so much to frame something, maybe this video gives you a little bit of an idea. Of course, they're professionals. They do it faster than me. Oh, well, if they're working with Reclaimed, not very many professional off the street or on the street, what do you say? Like, you know, people who just have a storefront. There we go, storefront brick and mortar business. They don't really use reclaim that often, but if they do, yeah, reclaim costs a lot. Oh, that's so freaking nice. Oh, that's sick. Okay, it moves a little bit. That's good. That's good. We want it to move a little bit. Okay. Okay, now let's see if it fits this thing. Is this Tegan and Sarah? Yeah, it is. I love this song. Wait, is this Tegan and Sarah? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember when this song came out. I love this song. I still love it. One of the best ever written. <laughs> Heck yeah. And then if I put a little... Uh, writing right up below it of like where it came from the estimated age all that stuff yes i don't know but i i don't know about you guys but i like it it came into being in the 1980s trivia nerd hold on a second guys i'll be right back okay i'm back okay we can glue up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to modify and age this again. Or maybe I won't age it. Maybe I'll just let time age it. Get it? Time? Time. The devil that takes us all. Right? It's pretty good. Put a little right up there. So what was it? It's an old gold miner's plate. And it was found in the in Dees Lake. Nice. Close to Dees Nuts. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. We have a frame on our hands. I don't even need to modify the, the little spacer for the plate because I thought maybe it wouldn't stick under. Remember guys, I am not a professional. I'm Josh. A tarnished fork and pickaxe. Ooh, like one of those little, the ones that you dig out of prison with, right? That's what you're talking about? It's <laughs> a good reference, eh? You know what? I'm gonna make it so that the that the the back is openable. Yeah, openable. And and then uh yeah, if I make it openable, that sounds weird saying. I feel like that's not right. Yeah. Uh then uh I can put a fork in there if we ever find one. Uh, or my brothers find one, right? My brother Ken found that plate there. So, okay. So, let's glue up. This part we won't glue up, but this part we will with the glass in it. So, I need to clean the glass though. So, there is some Windex in here, but I bet you we freaking brought it somewhere else. Uh,. Glass cleaner, come on. You're tearing me apart here. You know what? I'm going to go get some. I got brake cleaner, but I'm pretty sure that's not the same thing. Uh, no, the opposite of greasy, but it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be good. Okay, I'm going to go grab some from my truck. Okay, be right back, guys. You'll hear me the whole time, I think. If this reaches far enough, but you won't see me. Oh, it's warm out here. It was cold this morning. of the wipes. Okay, this is probably not gonna be as good, but since this is removable, I will still be able to clean it, but I wanna just get, you know, decent cleanness before putting it in, because we don't want it to look like trash on the edges, because we can't reach the edges, you know what I mean? So as long as we get it so that it's relatively there. Guys, I'm pretty stuck about this. You know, I wasn't gonna do this today. Like, I came in here, Clint was in here, and I was like, you know what? You're inspiring me to build something because I haven't built anything in months. Uh, I may have done a thing here and there, but I don't remember. But uh, I'm feeling good today, health-wise, so. I was like, you know what, I'm going to build something, and I'm going to bring the people of YouTube along so that we can have some fun. Well, I don't know if this is fun for you. I hope it's enjoyable in some capacity. There's a little something smirched on the, on the glass. Smirched, I don't think is a word either. Just a titch more. A Jewish word, yeah, like schmutz. Okay. Okay. Of course, this would help if my hands were clean. It's a pun off, you guys are still doing puns? Glad you're building today too. I should be in the shop as well, but I can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Jim, two of my neighbors are selling their houses. You should move over here. Could use another blacksmith in the neighborhood. When I say another, I mean a blacksmith because I need to learn how to do shit properly. 
Man, I know we had Windex right there. But this is... It was hanging on the corner, like those other ones. I bet you we needed it. Oh, you know what? We used it for the freaking trailer. It's probably there's none left. Michael Jackson. People think that uh, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong and uh, whatever the other guy's name was, the first people to moonwalk, but <laughs> you know what's hilarious? My nephew uh He's like, why, why did Neil Armstrong uh, lose the, uh, the race? And I was like, I don't know why. And he's like, because his legs are weak. Armstrong. And I was like, like a foot race or a bicycle race? I'm like, do you mean Lance Armstrong? And like, cause like the joke is, is, it's horny, but it's it's decent for a kid. Yeah, it's decent for a little kid to come up with, but he didn't know who Lance Armstrong was. And so I was like, if you tell that joke again, you should say Lance Armstrong, because he actually ra used to race, bicycle races, and you use your legs for that too. But he's like, nah, I like, I like Neil Armstrong. I'm like, well, so do I, but he's not known for racing, so it doesn't make any sense. Showing my kids uh, Chuck Norris uh, memes the other day, and they thought they were cheating. Chuck Norris memes? Oh, I mean, they are. He could sneeze with his eyes open. Yeah, yeah, he can do everything. <laughs> Dude, in Expendables three, I thought it was hilarious how they used those memes as part of the movie. They? Yeah, because like they're they're all pinned down yeah. by all these people all over the place, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, all these bullets come flying from all directions and kills every bad guy in like a couple seconds. And then Chuck Norris comes through like the smoke. It's like he killed everyone with no, no problem. Yeah. And he like, there's no way he would have been able to, but you know, that they, they were not like right on the, right in your face with the, with the memeness of it all. But like, they definitely were pulling from the memes about him. I thought that was freaking genius. Made me laugh. I was the only one who laughed out loud in the theater, though. No one seemed to, or maybe they just didn't think it was as funny as me. Because, like, it's not necessarily a funny scene, but there are a couple scenes where where uh, Arnold's in it, and he's like, I'll be back. And then uh, Bruce Willis is like, ah, you've been back enough. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, they are funny. Yeah. Next time, make window cleaner with a mixture of vinegar and water. It's far cheaper than Windex. Yeah, we do use that. It's just I don't have any of that in the shop either. Okay. I got this nice and clean-ish. Okay. Let's glue... Uh, we've got a glue bot here somewhere. Are you done with this? Okay. I'm going to try to set this up so we can do the least amount of chiseling after the fact. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Okay.
Okay. Oh, that's way too much. We're going to have some squeeze out here that I'm not going to like, but I don't want this to fall apart. It's like a fine line with how much glue you can put on. I just don't want it to spleech all over the glass. Spleech, yeah, that's all. another non-word. Sequadulous, yeah. Come on. It would be hilarious if I forgot to put the glass on and I just glued it together. Okay. Chikoda always uses my frame thing. Let me go get that. Oh, actually, it's not going to work because I got glass in the way. Oh, it will work if I have it the other way. All right, guys, I'm just heading back into the studio part where we have in these drawers a frame tool. There it is. I believe I got this from Jim. Not Blacksmith Jim, but another Jim. Order Jim? Yeah, Order Jim. If you want to call him that. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I can't do it because I have to be able to reach this. Dang it. Never mind. <laughs> it's uh, it's for doing frames they, for your glue-ups. I wish I had some of those spring clamps, you know, that go on corners. I have a set, but they're in my trailer and I have they're in your trailer, which isn't here. That's perfect. Okay. Ah, I hate doing miter glue ups like this. I need, there's got to be a clever way to do this. Son of a gun. Oh, I know what we could do. Yeah, ratchet strap would work. Yeah, but they're going to be way too long. Son of a son of a gun. <laughs> no, that's not working either. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Okay. I'm going to tape it first.
Okay, guys. We're getting it. I don't know why I was trying to get it so perfect when I know that the wood is so imperfect that it's not possible. You know, I could just pin it together too. That's all, I'll pin it. Screw it, guys, we'll pin it. Or as uh, O'Reilly would say, F it, we'll do it live. Remember the O'Reilly factor? Where's the, oh, it's right here. He uh, was on Fox News or whatever. Huh? Oh, the flies in your glue. Okay, now I don't want to hit the glass. Okay, she's stuck together. Okay. All right, I guess I have to cut off a tiny little bit of this, which we will do on the table saw. I'm gonna go a little more shy, a little more, just a catch. That way I can, yeah. Yeah, there we go, okay. So while that is doing that, why don't we Where is this right here? Okay, we are going to, there we go, we're 
broke my guitar, my mom's guitar when it was put behind a door, and then I opened the door. I inherited it after she died. Oh, bummer! That oh, you broke it. Uh, someone broke their mother's guitar. Okay, that's, well, I guess I, yeah. Get a little more epoxy here. Mix it up nice and thoroughly. There we go. And we'll put it on the back here. I'm just going to put it mostly in the middle because I'm probably going to have to move it around a little bit, but it'll squish out. Um, hopefully not a lot, but I wonder, do I want to put a gloss on here? Because if I do, I should do that right now. Uh, wait, where is it? Uh, diamond right here. I'm getting a phone call, guys. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. This is a spray on gloss. It's just uh, I think it's a semi gloss. Oh no, it's gloss. I have to be quick because this epoxy is going to dry. There, I like that. And we're going to place this on there right now. Because like I said, it's five minutes to dry. Perfect. Okay, we need something heavy to put on here. Uh, let me grab a. This is good. Okay, a little chunk of steel. There we go. Okay, good. Actually, I want it to be more like that. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Basically what happens with this stuff, it's a chemical reaction and it gets uh, hardened. And as it hardens, it lets off a lot of heat. And sometimes, like if you put this, mix it into a container that you can hold, it gets pretty warm in the hand. Okay, now from there, we need to do a little write up to put underneath it. I don't have a fork or a spork would be cool to find an old school spork. Um, but whoever suggested that earlier, that's a great suggestion. 
Um, I, I have, but I want to have what, an authentically found, you know, in the same area. Okay. Let's plug you back in. So, oh, I, you're plugged in. Okay. I love the version of Pickle Rick from the Potter's House series lurking in the background. Oh, wait. He's over on that side. Pickle Rick. Looks like it panned out. Ah! Can't spread that around Clint, right? Oh, not a lot. This stuff has less smell or less whatever than... Yeah, this is different. This is different. I mean, it is still an aerosol, but it's different than paint. Yeah, it's the lacquer paints. The enamel paints have lacquer in them, right? Stuff like that. This doesn't. This is water-based. So you can drink this and... Grind <laughs> <laughs> uh, some teeth into a spoon to make your own fork. What? Okay. Custom spork. Spoon in the garbage disposal works. Yeah, but the thing is, I want a real spork that's really from a gold mine. Okay, so let's do a write up, okay? I have some yellow paper. I think I'm going to do it. Or should I? I could punch it into some metal. Hold on. Let me, let me, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look, guys, when's the last time you had yellow loose leaf paper? This is. From 1987, and it hasn't even been opened yet. 1987. Did they uh, have electricity back in 1987? <laughs> okay. Not in Sure, we'll say that. Yeah, let's say 91. Or what did you say? 91? Yeah, 91. Let's say 91. Yeah, stamped into some copper or brass or gold plate. Copper! Holy shit, that would be sweet. I have copper. Okay, let's write it out first. Uh, where's my pencil that I had? Okay, we got it. Yeah, I got one. Okay, so while that's drying... We'll let that be. I have to look up where it came from, so I'll be right back, guys, okay? Okay, there we go. I had it in my phone, but I can't go in my phone when we're doing this, but I found it. Okay, so this was found in a town that doesn't exist anymore, but it used to be called Porter Landing, uh, which was around from 1873 to 1930. So we have to pick a year. I'm going to say 1930. Because I don't imagine that they would have left this on purpose if they were still going to be around, whoever owned it. Because they would have been, uh, as Chris pointed out yesterday, probably his only plate. So he would have needed it for all of his meals for all of his days. So I think we will date it at 1930. Do you guys think that's fair? Meredith is going somewhere. Do I hear music in the background or is it just my ears playing? There is music in the background. Looks, I looked up Miner Spoons on eBay. Really expensive. Yeah, probably. Punch it into metal. The paper, too modern for the plate. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is the paper doesn't have to be from the same era. I'm just basically writing what it's, where it's from. So when you go to a museum and they display something and they have a plaque, it's not like they used material from the era to tell you what it is now, right? It's just, it's just a little description, that's all. It would be cool if I could put it in a typewriter. I have a typewriter. Let's put it in the typewriter. This is lined paper though. 
Where's that? Where's that butcher's paper you got? I don't know if this will. I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, guys. I do not know how to use a typewriter, but and I don't know if these ones actually work, but we'll figure it out together. Is it just tin? Uh, it's rusting, so I'm I'm assuming it's it's steel, an alloy of some sort. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. You can make paper look old by soaking in cool tea. I don't want it to look old. I just want it to look cool, right? Again, I'm not trying to make it look like the paper because why would they why would they have labeled something that like you don't go to the store how do you say no you don't have in your home let's see here what what do you have i'm trying to think of something that's regular every day that isn't special because of some sort of rarity or whatever like the plate is not special because it's a plate it's special because it's it's old and at the time it wouldn't have been a special plate it would have just been a plate so they wouldn't have displayed it and it wouldn't be ruined back then you know what i mean okay guys how the heck do i do this how do i work a typewriter i don't I don't know which one of these. Okay, maybe that one will work. Oh, this one doesn't even go all the way up. Okay, screw this one. We'll use this one. Okay. Yeah, you can't type too quickly. Okay, I know there's supposed to be a ribbon thing, which I think is, is it that? Is that a ribbon? I don't freaking know, guys. Does this go behind there? Like that? And then how do you... Backspace, okay. Okay. The typewriter is from that era. That typewriter, maybe. Find one with a working ribbon. So I don't know if this is a working ribbon. Guys, I know nothing about typewriters except for that they look cool. So that's why I have them. Actually, my coffee table book, I was going to have like say 10 special editions where everything written in them is written on a typewriter. And they'll have doodles in them and stuff. Okay, that's too big. I just need a small piece of paper. Let's. There we go. I was like, wow, that's a shitty slicer. <laughs> Does anyone know how to do this? I should look at these comments. Pull, put a piece of paper of test paper. Put a piece of test paper in first. Use the yellow lines. Then hit the. Then hit a couple keys. Okay. I don't know where it goes. Does it just go here? No, it goes here, doesn't it? I've seen this in movies. That's it. How do you... One, two, three. <laughs> How do you do this? Uh... I learned how to type on one of those. You got to wind it, I think. Okay, wind. Oh, this. Okay. 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 So this would go into here like so, right? Because those are kind of clampy. This is not. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. That has to go behind that, I imagine. 
and behind that. Hey, Clint, do you know how to use a typewriter? Really? No? I feel like this must come. Oh, it does come up. Freaking dummy. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. It works. Except for this has to be up here. Do you have to have ink in it? Oh, uh, ribbon. Ribbon. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay this ribbon is not good though so how do you fix the ribbon part so how do you okay you rotate this okay but how do you keep it tight whoops that was too many at once yeah this thing's old hey eh? yeah oh yeah 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 do that again it's it might be broken, but it it needs to like it needs to stay taut. Well, that's what that is. Okay. It's working. It? Yeah, I just I need this to stay up like this, but there's I don't know what it's supposed to catch on. D. These. These nuts. Look. It works. It's the ribbon, I think, is worn out, though. Because mm. this is supposed to be in here. And then that. How does that stay up, though? H. U. F. F. No, this is not a Huff shirt. This is a Neff shirt. N-E-F-F. -F. Okay, guys, we're figuring it out. Josh. Okay, sorry. You're talking about the ribbon will self-wind. Put the paper behind the roller. Then it comes out the front when you turn it up. Oh, I got it freaking wrong. Okay. Okay. Behind the roller. Behind the roller. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, not quite. Now, there we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, how do I make it go back that way? What? Ah, oh, shit. Can't go too fast. Oh wait, I'm 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 at the ding. How do I? Nope, that's not it. How do I, do you just push it? Oh, you just push it, okay. Oh, that doesn't even touch nothing, whoops. Okay, let's, how do I, okay, shift, nope. Josh, look at the comments, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. Look for a spell check. <laughs> The paper is in the wrong slot. It should be in the right slot now, though, right? Wait till he looks for the spell check button. <laughs> the ribbon will self wind. It was loose, is the problem. The, the ribbon was loose. Okay. Put the arm back down. The arm. Space bar. It doesn't move. Oh, snap. Okay, sorry. Is there not a thing that holds the paper down? No. Oh, there's those things, but those are... Do, you, do those fold up? Well, they do fold up. Guys, this is so cool. Okay, now, 
How do I keep the... It's working. It's working. Okay, guys, thank you. You're probably very frustrated with me, but I got it. He's doing very well for someone born after the invention of the computer. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is so cool. Okay. Now, what was the thing that I pushed to... Oh, backspace. No, what was what was the thing that I did to to remove it? Okay, that's good enough. Okay. It's going again. Okay, how do I Okay, okay. What do you think this is? I think we're ready for the brown paper. Okay. Okay, so what do we need to put in? Oh, funny bone. Ah, good one. We need some suspenseful music, LOL. You can rebuild the truck, but typewriters are a challenge. <laughs> okay. How do I do uppercase? Or is it? No, it's not. How do you do uppercase? And also, what are one, two, three up here for? Oops, sorry. Ugh. Key. Okay, hold on. Tabular key. Dude, we're absolutely correct. Okay, I think this ribbon is not. Oh, yeah, see, it keeps falling off. Okay, I, I must need a new ribbon, I think. Does this one have one? Uh, has a ribbon in a different, oh, no, it's not in there, okay. It's ribbon goes in, in a different way. This one's like right here, that one is like underneath. Okay. This is so cool. I feel so old, look for a shift key, got it. Hold shift key down or shift lock for a bunch of cattle letters in a row. The ribbon is shot. Shift key on bottom left. You can ink it with India ink later. Well, I should do it now. No? But the thing is, is it keeps slipping down. I need Greg. Do you guys remember Greg? When Alex would ha had a store? Like I can see the letters, but I, it's just from residual ink. Like this thing keeps fucking up. Oh, excuse me. Dude, it dinged. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This is sick. Okay. Oh, and you can move these. Okay. So we need to Yeah, we need to go right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. D E A S E space L A K E. Yeah, you can just barely see it. Dude it dinged. <laughs> uh I don't have carbon paper. Turn to the ribbon to see if the good ink is in the wheel. 
Oh shit, I think I broke it. Wait, how do I do that? So there's this part. Okay. Yeah. I just need it to, I need it to be tight. Like, how does it stay tight, you know? I need that to be like that. Then I need that to be up there. Yeah. See, if I can do that. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Yes. Someone's here. Hold on one second. Might be a uh, GPS. Nice. Thank you. Just a second. I ordered like three minutes. That's weird that they didn't all come at the same time. Yeah, this is just one one. All right. I'll probably see you tomorrow then. All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, hey, stop. You probably heard the whole conversation, but I'm back. Okay. Gold. Okay, I'm just going to hold this taut here. Backspace. How do I go backspace? The D didn't really show up. There we go. Space. Minor. Someone who's not underage, but someone who mines things. That's ER, right? Backspace again. E. Am I going to have to do this with every single letter? Gold miner, is there... Uh, where is the apostrophe? Okay, how do I do an apostrophe? Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Gold miners. Gold miners. Come on. Dinner. Uh, let's go. Okay, gold miner's dinner plate. How do I shift? No, how do you I go down again? No, that way, wasn't it? Oh wait, was it this? No, how did I do that? How do I go down? How do I move the gold miner dinner plate? That's the first line. I hope he doesn't need any whiteout. I remember when a typewriter with a correction button was the cheese. I didn't have one. Anyone remember correction tape? No apostrophe. Oh, you're right. Because it's possessed, right? Move to the right. Wheel on your left. Oh, that's it? How do I go back? Oh, shit. How do I, okay, tab. Nope. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Gold Miner's dinner plate. Margins are important, LOL. Yeah. Oh, I do need an apostrophe. Possessive is an apostrophe? Okay. Gold Miner's dinner plate. Again, this this ribbon is not it's not perfect, but it'll be good enough for this. Um, do I go Porter Landing? Oh, this is what we'll do. We'll go like this. Well, that's perfect. Didn't do a single freaking letter. That's legible. I imagine this is way easier if the thing's not broken. Porter landing established or Porter landing, we'll go, is there a one? There's no one. Or do I just use the I? There's no one guys, what do I do? Use the I as a capital. Okay. So I'm going to go. Well, that's a terrible one. It looks exactly like an I. 19 or 18. 73. Is there a dash? There is a dash, but. Oh, good. Nineteen thirty. Well, I'm a little off, and I can't move the shit over like you can on a computer. So I go nineteen thirty and then put ish. Okay. Okay, 1930. Found. Found, okay. Whoa, found. Ox, oh, shoot. Oh, that works. Found twenty, twenty two. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at that.
Now I can obviously do that better and I will, but I gotta get that thing fixed. I am stoked. Okay. So now I'm gonna rip that. I sort of got it figured out. Oh, cool. It sucks, but if I get a new ribbon, I think it'll be good. Yeah. I'm just ripping this paper. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, let's get this. All I'm gonna do is just tape that. Like that's not the permanent thing. That's just a placeholder for now. Oh, I guess I should center it. Who knows how long temporary is? Okay. I feel like we probably have to, we'll do one in copper. Let's do one in copper. Uh, or maybe I shouldn't do copper because although there was a copper nugget found here. Burn the edges of that. Of that? Yeah. But it's, it's not supposed to be old. Oh. Found 2022 and then suddenly it's, it's true. Still look look how aged that is. <laughs> I need a I need a cardstock I think and print it on cardstock. I'm gonna. What do you think? Is copper not good or should I use copper? I don't have any brass. Otherwise, I'd use brass. Oh, that galvanized. Galvanized. Let's see. What is this? What about this? Aluminum? I'm gonna try aluminum, guys. Okay, I need to go get a, my punch sets. Which I think actually might just be in here. I forget where they are exactly, but. No, actually they're in the, uh, they're in the welding thing. I'll keep an eye out, but honestly, since people are wise to the value now, for what? Flake galley? Dude, what the heck is that? 
Once a miner at the diner found that he was running late, that old timer of a miner left behind his dinner plate. Did you make that up, Paul? Or is that a real thing? Are you going to mention the wood came from another mine? It came from the same mine. The wood came from the same mine that this plate came from. Back then, aluminum was magic and priceless, was it? White plain paper is perfect. Right. I don't want it to look exactly like that because the wood, again, is... We'll see. We'll see what it looks like on aluminum. If it looks like trash, well, that wouldn't be surprising because I made it. <laughs> okay, are these letters or just numbers? These are letters. Okay, good. Where are my smaller punches? Looks like the last thing I ate was a pancake. Paul, you made it up? Okay. Do you mind if I stole that from you and put it in here? Oh, give me one second. I'm just getting a phone call. Okay. I was thinking of the wood your brother b brought back for you. That That's what that is. He also brought back the plate. The plate and the wood is from the same place. Feel free. Do you still have some of the fire extinguisher left? I don't think so. You missed some gold marine. You'll have to watch the typewriter a bit. Okay. Okay, where... Can you write it again? I can't see it here. Oh, where? I found it. Okay. We're going to go inside and we're going to type this off on the computer. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have some cardstock. I want to put it on that. We're going to do it. We're going to do it that way. And, uh, I'm not going to punch all that out on aluminum. That'll take way too long. So, in here, it's outside. And I don't have. I think my freaking printer runs off of Wi Fi. So, we might have to go back outside and get the internet. But we are making progress. Okay, how do I, how do I, Microsoft Edge, what is that? Is that the internet? No, I want, how do I just write something? Word, I do have Word, okay, sorry, I lied. Come on, you stupid thing. off. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't have internet in here. Stop. Okay, no. They make you buy it now, even though you already bought it. $135. I don't think so. Let's do here. If I can open this up. How do I go to bookmarks? No, how do I go to the thing? I think I have to log in. How do I go? Okay, let's go grab the freaking.
king router, okay? That'll just be way easier. We're almost done this project, but I don't want to leave it undone. Okay. Unfortunately, my internet doesn't reach from the house into the shop and vice versa. Try to jump over here without dropping anything. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is the boring part of the video. Or maybe you were bored the whole time. I don't know. Now, if I had a computer in the shop, that would be very handy. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a font that looks like typewriter fonts. Exactly, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, I need to... I'm looking for that comment again. I lost it. Lost your signal right when you jumped over the gate and it came back as you started down the stairs. Looked like, like one of your edits. Ah, that's cool. Where is it? Oh, Jim, what were you saying? Ah, oh, there it is. A chunk of large flight galley. What the heck is that? Okay, Paul. Okay, let's, how do I, what? Okay, let's do this, get rid of that. Yeah, so you gotta click on this and then go down to classroom forms, where is it? Docs, there we go. Google Docs, that's what I'm looking for. New, do you know how much of my book is written on here? Book. Um, here, I'm like looking for the thing that I wrote down, but it's, it's right here. Okay. Oh, shoot. And of course, I forget what the other shit said. Okay. So we're going to go gold miners dinner plate. Does anyone remember? Okay. I'm going to first, I'm going to write down what he said. Paul wants a miner's dinner plate. Wants a miner at the diner. Sorry. Sorry. Diner wants a miner at, oh, come on, at the diner. Found that he was running late. He was running late. That old timer of a miner left 
behind. Oops, yeah, left behind is dinner plate. Okay. Bam, bam. Once a miner at the diner found that he was running late. That old timer of a miner left behind his dinner plate. Okay, how do you want me to sign this, Paul? Do you want me to just say Paul Romil? Romil? Paul Romil? Romil? Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. What the dick was that? There we go. Okay, now how do I make this so it's uh, bam like that? There we go. And we'll go like this, like that. Gold miner's dinner plate. Okay, now does anyone remember? Let me go down here. I like it. I love it actually. Um, I software that would work for a long time, such as such a ripoff. Yeah, Shubas from Panama is here. Nice. I don't think the threader is broken. Looks like there's a ribbon needs threading. There's a ribbon holder to hold it in place. Right. I don't mean it's broken. I just need. I don't know how to. I don't know what to do to make it work. So, I put three ends in running. Okay. Does anyone remember what the name of the lake was called and what the what the years were, 1837 to 1930. This is probably not right. Porter Lake, does anyone remember the year? Porter Landing. Porter Landing, British Columbia. 18... Phone Clint, but then I... No. 1930... 1873 to 1930. Dude, you guys have good memories. The 1930, 1930-ish. Oh. Going to be Gold Miner's Dinner Plate, Porter Landing versus Columbia. Da, 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 da. Actually, I'm going to have to make this smaller. 10, I'm going to make this. 8. I'm gonna make this nine. I don't know how many different sizes you could make on a typewriter, but we're gonna use some artistic liberties here. Okay, so now we have to find the typewriter font. Here we go, got it. Gold miners dinner plate, Porter Landing, British Columbia, 1870 to 1930. Found. Found. 2022. Perfect. How do I make... There we go. So let's do that a little bit more. Go a little bit more, actually, or a little bit less. Bam. Okay. Paul. There we go. Okay. Gold miners. Dinner plate. Porter landing. Okay. This. I feel like. It needs a space right there, and we'll make that space small, like so. And 2022. Pink? 
So there's gray. Let's see what it looks like on gray paper. Come on. There we go. There we go. We have more yellow paper in here as well. Back in the day from the but nothing nothing that is and we got thousands of lined paper but nothing okay let's see what it looks like gray okay so print how do i print how the frick do you print share print where's print print there How do I? Ah, oh, right here. There we go. It might be too big. So we'll try it. And we'll see what it is. Thank you guys for your help, by the way. All right, see you later, Glenn. My grandma's typewriter had a black and red ribbon. This one has a black and red ribbon, too. But I don't know what it's... I think that's perfect. But it might be too big, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna make this smaller. We're gonna make this smaller. We're gonna make this smaller. We're gonna make that smaller. And we are going to print again. I don't know if it looks good on gray, so I'm gonna print it on plain paper as well. For some reason, I thought it wasn't gonna print. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then on white, which we just have the thinnest paper, Ash is like, oh wow, it's such a great deal. Ooh, I may be able to print it on this cardboard, but maybe not. Hold on, let me see here. No, because the cardboard's shiny. I don't want it to be shiny. Dang it, I wish we had white, whatever. We'll print it on just a regular piece of paper. So if you're ever curious of what goes on over on Patreon in terms of our build videos, it's basically what you're watching right now. We kind of just pick something to make and then we make it and sometimes it takes a while and sometimes not as long, but yeah. Man, I really wish, I really wish we had Oh, well, okay, let me cut this on the slicer, the slice and dicer. I think I just cut that slightly crooked by accident. There we go. go
Okay. I got the three here. Sorry, you couldn't really see what I was doing, but but we got it. We got it. Man, I wish I had white card stock. Or even that manila, manila color. I have manila envelopes. I think. I don't, but I have yellow envelopes. So let's print it on a yellow envelope, shall we? And see how that looks. Okay. see if this works um i gotta go have a good rest of your day all right see you later cut white smaller and put on gray i think i like this one the best except for i think i should make it slightly bigger Actually, I might be able to if I just click this. Oh no, I won't be able to, never mind. it again this is way easier than doing it on the typewriter but i think we're still going to do it on the typewriter once i get the the ribbon working i wonder if greg would be willing to come up to my place okay let's cut this up and i think we are golden Okay, that took forever, but let's let's go with all our pieces here. Your mom must know how to use a typewriter. I doubt it. She quit school in grade five. Okay. But now we don't have the internet out here, so I'm going I'm to take this off. There we go. Clint. Okay, so 
So, so obviously this one, which is whatever. Then Gray, the guy who wrote the little poem there, I, I put it in there. He just made it up on the spot. I oh, liked really? it. Yeah. Oh, I spelled minor wrong. God damn it. No, it's not an O. Minor. minor. Yeah, that's like minor as a child. Yeah, that's one minor, yeah. I'll have to reprint it off again. So we got gray. A couple different. Uh, a clever poem. Right, and we go. i to have to fix that because they're all the same. Oh, okay. Now we can go white. Yeah, gray. Yeah, gray over white, right? And then we can do this, which I also like. Scan the more. Or we can go a little bit. Here. Spelled correct. Let me go do the correction. Scratchy mic. Oh, sorry. How's this? Is this still scratchy? Or is this good now? Oh, I almost ate shit there. My hand almost slipped off because I had this in my hand. Okay. Good thing I didn't delete this yet. Okay, gold miner, miner. Once a miner at the diner found that he was running late, that old timer of a miner. Again. Left behind his dinner plate by Paul. Okay, gray. Me gray. Okay, mic is better now. Okay, so it's just my headphones were crunching against it. There, so if we do that, we should be fine. Okay, let me cut this. There we go. We got it. Okay, I'm gonna bring the internet out with us. That way I can see your comments on the other phone.
Okay. There we go. Okay. Love the color of the sky, same as here. Fun fact, it's the same sky. Terrible joke, terrible joke. Yep, that's it. Okay, I wanna have it off the, the paper a little bit, or paper, off the background a little bit. Lightly run the paper on the edges, it will give it an old look. I don't want it to look old. I want it to look, because Again, when you find something in the museum, do they make the stuff look old? The the the, uh, the labeling look old? No, they don't. So this is kind of the same idea. The only thing is, I made the box it's in look not look old, but I used old wood. Because social sense says found in 2022, so it wouldn't be old anyway. Because that was you know, a few months ago. It's still 2022, but like, it was found a few months ago. Okay, I need a little piece of plywood. Just a tiny piece. We'll use some more of our... All right. know what I'll do. Okay, so this is supposed to be somewhat temporary, so, or maybe I'll keep it like this, I don't know. I like the idea of using the typewriter for it, but not very many people use typewriters these days. Does anybody? Yeah, yeah, they still have them at libraries and stuff. But they don't look like the one that I have. No. So it's like plastic. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do it with hot glue so that I can 
peel it off just in case I want to change how I do the plaque. Uh, let me grab some hot glue. It's over here. Hot glue is only semi-permanent, so we should be good. Just let it heat up. And then, yeah, then we're basically done. So while that is heating up, let's do what we need to do around the frame. We just need to make it so they made up better. So, I feel like I could just do this with my bare hands, actually. Tom Hanks has a tremendous collection of typewriters, does he? Has a collection of typewriters, yeah. Yeah. I need, I'm looking for someone, oh, here we go. So this is basically just a little rasp tool. I'm trying to just make it look like this aged all at, or uh, sorry, aged while being a frame. I feel like that part I'm going to have to cut off. I'm going to do that with the bandsaw just to get a little bit off there. My theory is that I can do it rough enough that I can blend it. Hmm, I should have watched this a little bit closer. Oh. Do you know where the other glue bot is? So oh. oh, this has a little bit too big of a oh they both have big holes. Alright, that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna try to squish that in there. Okay, now I need a squeeze clamp. 
They're all gone. Oh, this is a squeeze clamp. Grab some water. Okay, now this one's probably warm. Let's see. What? Oh, that's cool, Jim. Tom Hanks went to Saskatoon and bought a typewriter and then wrote a thank you note on the typewriter to the guy who sold it to him. Oh. Yeah, at the typewriter shop there. Cool. Or a typewriter mechanic, whatever the heck. I don't know. Probably just because they're... Yeah, he, he would he would have used them, I guess, right? Okay. He would have used them. Did you use them? Typing class. Yeah. Nowadays, they just assume you know how. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know how to type for a long time. I still don't really technically know how to type in a way that they would teach you. I just type with some of my fingers. Not all of them, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom Hanks can identify a typewriter by the sound it makes when typing. What a guy. I can identify... Uh, what? I don't even know. Some birds... <laughs> oh yeah okay yeah 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 the 73 diesel ford engine yeah that's a that's an easy one where the heck is that oh it's on the floor perfect it's just where i wanted it to be Okay, now I feel like I'm going to tape this to here. I'm going to identify different woods, some woods, mostly domestics. Oh yeah, woods by the smell, yeah. Like, yeah, oak and cedar. Oak smells like diarrhea, 
And uh, oh, I hate it, dude. It's one of the worst smelling woods. Teak is is a close second. You love the smell. Cedar smells the best, I think. Oh, it smells like. It smells like, I don't know. Someone ate a bunch of peas and then had an accident. You guys probably can't hear Clint's part of the conversation, but he likes the smell of oak being cut and whatnot. I do not at all like the smell of oak. Okay. <laughs> Jim says, cherry is one of my favorite smelling woods. Red oak smells like a horse barn. <laughs> We're using what or we? He's using white oak today. Yeah, which doesn't smell like a horse barn, but it does smell not good to me. Yeah, that's probably good. Nah. It smells like like uh, God got distracted when he made the smell of it. <sighs> he was like, that was the day that Satan betrayed him or whatever. Amen. And he was having a bad day, yeah. He was like, oh, I'm going to make the mighty oak. It's going to be a great tree. It's going to live a long time. It's going to sustain a lot of people's lives. And then the devil was like, hey, I, I enjoy singing for you and all, but can I just be you? And he's like, as he's putting, sprinkling the smell in there, he was like, what? And then it just went, he, he accidentally put in like the manure. He's like, Pfft. whoops. It's not as good as my story that I used to tell. What do you mean? I remember one time you were telling some story and I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, wow, that's pretty far fetched, but then I totally believed it. And then you. That was how I. Alive, I yeah, that's how I met Alex. Oh, right, you're how I met Alex. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's a totally different thing. That was that was the thing that happened. This is. I don't know what happened when God made oak. He just made a mistake. I don't know, I like it. I learned to type on a manual typewriter in high school. Only people planning a secretarial career were allowed to use the very few electric typewriters. Good times. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm not quite done this. Okay, guys, we're almost there. I have a hammer and I lightly tap this. Oh yeah, that'll work. Huh? Oh, a little clamp. Can I unfastened?
Can you lower the camera a bit? Can't see what you're doing. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. There we go. Sorry about that. Tell Clint I'm fuming some white oak with ammonia right now. I bet he wouldn't like that smell. Does that change the color? <laughs> it must. Is this a gift for someone or just for your own viewing pleasure? Uh, it's not a gift, but I haven't thought of what I was going to do with it. I might give it away, maybe. Maybe in the 12 days of Christmas. Or maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it, so probably not. I like I like this plate. If I found it, if there was another one found, then then maybe I would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do exactly. I'm just getting uh, little details here. Now, where is? Uh, I need a paintbrush, and I need a. Hey, there was a foam brush out here that I purposely didn't throw out. Maybe it's in the, I didn't move anything out of the in the pile. There, right there. Right. Okay. Maybe it wasn't. Right, right, right. Okay, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm mistaken. Steaming or foam or fuming or he's. I'm fuming some white oak with ammonia right now. I bet he wouldn't like that smell. Well, ammonia, no. Yeah, ammonia. You would die, wouldn't you? That's gross, man. If you, if you would just stayed all all up in there, wouldn't you die? Uh, Isn't ammonia poison well, for you? definitely give you a chemical burn on your lungs, yeah. Yeah. He must have it in an enclosed little thing. It's outside. It's not like when mom used to clean her oven with an ammonia. <laughs> Drove us out of the house. I think you need to add a gold nugget to it. Are you kidding me? Then it would get stolen. What does the ammonia do, uh, Jim? I've heard of that before, but I don't know what it does. It darkens it. It makes a beautiful brown. Ah. On oak. Yeah, must do it without the staining then, so that it, it's like all yeah, the way natural. through. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've done maple before in an oven. Oh, yeah? And, uh, yeah, Ammonia mixed with bleach will kill you. Mustard gas. Yeah, so someone at McDonald's did that. At the McDonald's I worked at. Bleach will kill you? I can even smell it. Mustard gas, yeah. Is that what a mustard gas was? Yeah. Ish. Yeah. I remember, so what was uh, going on is uh, at, well, at McDonald's when I, when this kid made it by accident, this guy, I forget what his name is, but he told this other guy to clean the floors. It's very greasy, so you slip all the time in the back. Right, so he's like, okay. He's like, uh, make it strong, as in put in a lot of degreaser. And the guy was just puts in bleach, puts in some ammonia, and it was making like a oh, cloud almost. Not a cloud, but like a well, like it looked like it was steaming, yeah. but like with just warm water. So yeah, it definitely was something was happening. And the guy who told him to make it strong was like, what the hell are you doing? And he grabs it and he like. Puts it outside and it spills all over the parking lot. Then he fills up some buckets of water and like tries to dilute it. Yeah, he was a he was a veteran who who realized what was going on. He was so mad, but like this kid, I don't know, he's probably like fourteen. He had no idea. He's like, make it strong. Oh, more cleaners. Let's do it. Yeah. Any wood with tannins is what you you can do with ammonia. But it's a classic classical way of coloring white oak. Okay. Isn't there tannins in tea? Yeah. Right? 
but there's tannins in wood. Did he say that? Yeah, any any wood that has tannins in it. I didn't know wood had tannins in it. But... What do you mean? I've only heard the word tannins when it's used in like deep. Oh, okay. I, I did. So I'm smarter than you, therefore better. You probably learned that in grade 10 or something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that's when you stopped going to school. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's. The bottom side of this, we need to get rid of this ugliness, okay? Let's do a little sanding. this now. I hope that I don't shake everything apart here. for that mallet guys what did I do with that mallet oh Jacqueline's sister makes Javix and ammonia to clean burnt her throat and rotted her teeth oh my gosh that's oh, no man. good oh I did put it up there Teeth? Yeah, that's crazy. From like a one-time exposure? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's no good. Okay, good enough. Okay, now I have to decide, do I want to put a clear coat on here? Oh, my phone is dying. No, don't die on me. You're probably going to die, guys, but here it is. We're at 
That sucks. But we're basically done. Okay, since we're not dead yet, it could die at any time. Uh, we'll make it so it stays in place and find a place for it. Well, I'll probably hang it up inside. I don't know. So post a good photo of it online. I will on my Instagram. If you don't know what my Instagram is, it's at Ushitat. Uh, that's the one I'll be putting it on. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll be uh, cool. I left on the back, I left it a little white so I could sign it. And you can tell that it's reclaimed. So uh, maybe I'll do that now. A red Sharpie. Why do we have a red Sharpie? A black one? Yeah, you have a black one on you? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to sign this. Put a piece of toast on the plate. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so... Yeah, on the on the plate here. Okay. Do I want to put? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Okay, so signed on the back. Let me go get uh, one of the those whatever you call them. Just in here, I'm in the studio once again. I keep forgetting you guys can still hear me even though I'm not not near you. Okay. Okay. Oh, I might not be able to. Oh, yeah. These ones did. <laughs> 